right, Prelude 1 by Eto de la Lobos. It's a beautiful piece. Uh, in this edition, uh, it's, uh, and in most, most uh, editions, you are suggested, uh, it, the suggestion is that you start with two, and you slide three over. I suggest, for the sake of simplicity, just use one. Later on, as you get to know the piece well, you can actually do the, add that extra shift. But there's nothing that's, that forbids you from doing it. Seventh position, triple chuck, also three times. Fifth string still, three, fifth string, four, right, and then you are on the fourth string, three, then three moves over, and you are finding yourself on tenth, posi tenth position. And then you can use one, it says in the score to use three. And then right behind behind that one, you're gonna uh, you're gonna walk by, back by with three and one. Right. So or, or here the suggestion is that you actually travel. Um, you can get the B here, but you would have to actually in the right hand split thumb and index. from the seventh fret all the way to the 14th fret and then you actually would move yourself to uh, for that matter you could actually use four and then you actually trouble your pinky order to grab that G here on the 10th fret right so you're gonna hit the 10th fret with four and the ninth fret with the ring finger so pinky on the on the tenth fret, and then you stack two directly on top of three here on the ninth fret. So you're walking, but because three is there, right? So if we recap what we have from the start, it's a little fifth string. Now on to the fourth string. yourself on fifth position, mini bar here in the first three strings, double thumb stroke, fifth and fourth string, three is on the seventh fret, four string, right, and then three moves all the way up, uh, not all the way, but just up to the fifth string, right, you're doing a triple chuck on the first three strings, one is grabbing the C on the third string, fifth fret, you slide that all the way to the tenth fret, and you're going to land two here on the on the ninth fret fourth string to grab a B and your peak is going to grab an F right here underneath the ring finger on the tenth fret third string. Slide your operation back one fret then your second finger gives way to the index finger and then your pinky gives way to the second finger on the third string. So how does this work? Back one fret. One, three, and two. Right? And then go to the second, uh, uh, well, second fret. One is grabbing the D. Two grabs the, the B on the fifth string. Three is going to grab the third string, second fret. Pinky grabs the third fret, sixth string. And then two comes.
comes back to grab the F sharp on the sixth string. Three is going to travel upstairs to grab the B. D is still where it was, right? Right, and your pinky grabs the third string. And then third finger slides. Now, you could do that. Or you could just slide up and land with one because you're going to repeat the same figure. Exactly the same. Uh, so this time you're going to go all the way to an E, right? So that's on your 14th fret on the on a D string. You're going to have to hit that with your sixth string, right? D on the 12th fret, fourth string, and then you're grabbing a C sharp. So it's right behind it. Fifth string right there. Now, in the score, the arrangement suggests that you grab this, grab the G over here on the fifth fret, right, and, and land back with three. Um, I think that is wasteful uh, usage. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful glissando. I do not blame the arranger for, for that. Um, I think that you could just grab the G here, fifth string. 10th fret right above it. Yeah, you don't get the effect of the glissando, but um, if you're learning the piece, it might be less risky, right? Scoot over one fret so that you're grabbing the C, fifth string and fourth string together. Now your pinky is gonna half stack below on the second string to grab the A. Your second finger is gonna grab an E right here in the ninth fret, third string. And you're also going to play your first string open, right? So you get two E's for the price of one chord. Right? You grab your F, so F sharp, sorry. And then I have to turn my page. Scoot over one fret to grab the B. I see, I see. Do trouble here. I think that that's not a bad idea. So you're going to get that E on the second fret, fourth string. Travel to fifth position. Now you're going to half stack ring and pinky finger on the sixth fret. Ring finger is going to go to your C sharp on the third string. Your pinky is going to be on the B flat. And you're going to play your E on the second string, right? So you're holding a, a diminished chord. Right? And you get that diminished. Uh, Right, then you move backwards for the F sharp. You're just moving that diminished chord. Now you're in seventh position, sixth position. It says animado, you're moving faster on this one, but for the sake of the tutorial, we're going to keep it on the slow side. So you're here on the ninth position, then A sharp, eighth position, then the tenth position, then B. Position, then 12th position, back to the 9th position, 6th position, 3rd position, and then open D and you just move yourself. Uh, he just wants you. Uh, yeah, it's because of the, the 3 and the 4 are in the chord, but you could just do 1 and 2 since you're in the first fret D sharp and F. Right? Or if you want to just keep that. There's a good reason coming up because you got this chord, right? Okay, so I, uh, I I guess that that's a great idea. So instead of using one and two, go ahead and use three and four as you're coming out of this chord. Slide one fret. You're uh, half stacking two on the same fret. So you got two on the fifth string, three is on the third string, pinky is on the first string. They're all on the second fret. You need to grab your uh, your D sharp for that B seven chord. Chuck out to the, the inside string, sorry, the second, third, and fourth string. Then your pinky's gonna come up. Right, so you're holding the A. Uh, actually, you, you withdraw the A. You still uh, pre 
preserve the D sharp. Then you have the F sharp on the on the sixth string and your B. And you re return your pinky to the third string, right? And then you come back to the original theme. to the 14th fret, now we're going to actually get all the way to an F sharp, right, so F sharp, right, on your 16th fret, now I lost my spot in music, uh, there we are, and then you're going to move your index back to the 12th fret, and it's just a dance of the half stack pinky, uh, pinky and ring finger there on the third string and the E string. And you're just going to be moving them back and forth by one fret. So this is on the 12th fret and this is going to be in the 13th fret. And your B string is open, so you're triple chucking the first three strings. On the last chord, you're going to play that D string again. So you watch. one fret and again move back one fret and then you move back one fret you're now in ninth position bring that index back so that you grab your F sharp then he wants to slide over three I'm not sure that that's the greatest idea. I know that you're going to use three again on the third fret, but uh, I, I think it's waste, uh, wasteful. You can just do that, right? So out of the last one, you have this fermata. Fourth fret. Next fret, right? It's a G on the, on the fifth fret. Then on the fifth string, three. I would use four for the seventh fret for the E, and then come back with three, and that's a, a triple chuck on the first three strings, right? B, then A with a triple chuck, then the sixth string, then again slowing down here, but of course we're already doing it slow. The first three strings on the F sharp on the sixth string, open six. He has you slide. To the C natural, and then you are half stacking here on the on the, on the um, eighth fret. Now, sixth string, fourth string, second string, and your pinky is going to come out to the very next fret, the ninth fret, to grab the E on the G string. Right. So you're chucking the D, G, and B strings. And then you chuck outside strings, the first three strings and then back inside, right? So it's a very cool effect. We're coming out of this. Uh, inside strings, outside, outside, back inside, outside with bass, we'll drag it one fret back, Side, inside, outside with bass. 